Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa, here in Sipper Green Tea City. So, what are we going to be working on today? Well, today I want to get sorted the Paris Stroke French theme, if I can say it, for our island over here. And there were some excellent suggestions in the comments of the video that just went out today. I believe I'm maybe one video ahead of what you're doing, two maybe at the most. And I've been sent some ideas for some mods and for some items that can go in here. So we are going to try and do that today so the mod that you want to get for yourself will add into our policies tab down here themes uh, the mod is called and um, blow me down i didn't write it down it's called building themes per district or building themes green cities basically that's the name of it um because even though we can add themes into a district if we look at this and well we didn't have themes before did we uh policies themes oh yeah european suburbia what's that one open up the same thing but now we can set our own theme so if we go down to here the city policies you get this screen enable theme management for this city yes and theme manager so we want to set up a brand new theme i'm going to call this one paris create that there so now what we want to do i'm just going to pause the game in the background is add items to that theme so if we scroll through here at the moment it's all empty uh, thank you very much to the person that sent me the list um that there is of a collection of all sorts of different paris style items there we go and as you can see they're level one so that's how much they're upgraded, and that is the size. So we've got level one, we've got level two, three. There's a couple of level fours in there. So it'd be interesting to see um, how this works. Can I select all of those? Will that just just select those? Hopefully. So that's all levels, all sizes. Display uh, all that are in. So display what's included. Yep. So that's those. Display what's excluded, and that should be everything else. No, I think now we're all... Oh, that's because I've got the word Paris on there. Beg your pardon. If I take that off and do what's excluded... Yeah, that's everything else. That's good. So it's only selected what had Paris in it. Uh, we could also add... Oh, Parisian, if that comes up with something else. Paris... Parisian. Is that going to bring us anything else? Parisian. If I spelt it right... Yep, it's got the Parisian flat. Uh, let's just check under French. Uh, if I can spell French, that would be good. Yep, it's got all of those. And I'll check under France. I think that's everything. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull up the list of all the items I've just subscribed to. And make sure I've got them all in this theme. Yep, pretty sure that is everything uh, in this one. So we do included. There we go got everything we can in that one and i think that is it i think that's all we need to do hopefully so if i close that out and then if we look here so we can shut oh there we go got paris here so if i shut that if i go into new paris and themes for this district we can uncheck european suburbia and then we can put in paris and what's going to happen allow buildings which are not in any theme no so we don't want that we only want buildings that we've got into that so now what should happen is pretty much all of these are going to disappear and hopefully rebuild back again. So let us uh, start the game up. We're at top speed. Let's just see what happens. So they're all going to start disappearing. They should do. We're at top speed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Or maybe I have to remove them myself and put them back in again. I'm wondering whether that's what I need to do. Well, I'll tell you what. Let us do a little section here ourselves. So what have we got here? So these are all houses, are they not? Houses, houses, houses. Yes, they are. So if we go like this. Here we go. They will all disappear super quick. Oh, we're going to be below 10,000 again. Also, this is going to enable us to see. Uh, there we go. This will enable us to see what other buildings we have in here that are no longer gone please leave that aren't the french versions like the fire station there so actually while we're doing this uh, let's just pause this so that is a firehouse if we go into here and do paris there we go make this a little bit bigger 
Okay, we're going to get all the ploppables in here. So what I want is building global prop. Is it going to be under building? Yes. So one of these, that's a school. Let's start from the beginning. Then we know what we've got. So we've got a monument. We've got flats. We've got another flat. What's that there? Oh, the hotel terminus. We've got these. One of these should be... That's a school. What's that one there? French flat. I was hoping one of these... French fire station. There we go. So we could swap out that fire station for this one here. So let's delete that. Yep. And we're going to put that in there. And that is going to fit in. Look at that. That is the sort of architecture that I wanted. There we go. There's nothing else in there. So what I'm hoping now is if I put these back in again... I'm going to leave it on pause while I do. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do this outside edge. And then I'm hoping that as we unpause, we're going to start getting... Look at all these people walking everywhere. All walking to the trams. We're going to start getting people moving in. Oh, here we go. The buildings are growing. The buildings are growing. Let's see what our first... Our first building in our new possibly French area is going to look like. Please look French. It is. And it's a lovely corner French building as well. Uh, let's have a look at that. Yeah, there's no other information on here to tell us, but it's picked the prop that we need. Oh, man, this is going to be nice. So the only downside is, is at the moment we don't have any need for buildings in here. So I was hoping it would just remove the lot and come back. So it might take a while for this whole island to grow back, but... That's weird. You've got like a weird sort of corner building there because of that. That is... What? Oh, man. What's going on there? That is weird. Is there something that should be in between? Yes. But it hasn't grown yet. Oh, okay. And I think that's there because of this road. Hmm. Well, we'll see what happens as they all grow in. And hopefully as well, we've got night time kicking in. All their light... Yeah, they've got all lights that work and stuff like that. I think these are going to look good, you know, once they're all done. So let's let this run for a while. And then we'll take a look once it's finished. I just realised while I was going around this, there were some comments that I'd accidentally <laughs> put some zones in the middle of here and all around my park. I did, didn't I? I went over the whole park and uh, over the whole island and zoned it. So I bet people have been leaving comments about that. Well, I'm going to remove all of those. And fortunately, my park will come back. There we go. All the items I put underneath should still be there. Oh, I really hope so. <laughs> I don't want to have to go around and do them all again. Yeah. Well, we shall see. Any other bits? Oh, it looks okay. It looks like it's all there. Can you leave? Can you leave as well, please? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that one there. And I'm going to go from here all the way across there. And that should be everything. And this guy, he can be gone. Yep, looks like it's all okay. I think that's how it was. Yeah, a few trees. Seems to be missing some stuff here. I can fill that back in. This is growing. Oh, look at that. Now, this is... Wow. Isn't this the sort of building and the sort of look you'd expect in France? Oh, look at it. This is exactly what I was thinking of. Now, there are a few little oddities sort of around here, like at the end. I think we really need to have, like, rows that connect up in, in grids for this to work well and to look perfect so i might go around and replace 
A few little rows, but at the moment it's doing okay. So I've got this section going, whoops, this section going here as well. And I'm sort of working my way through as it fills up. We'll go to another section. And what is all these along here? Is that supposed to be there? Yes, that's fine. So I might just do this section here. So that's all houses. If you do that, remove it all. And then when I place it back, when it's needed, it will grow. Uh, do you know what we've got here? This is a school, isn't it? Oh, we've actually got the French private school in there. Nice. Mm, so let us... Oh, they're still there. Let's remove all of these. There we go. And then we can put this back in. Maybe up to... I might just connect that up there, you know. Just so we don't get that weird... Around the corner. And I might do that one as well. Get rid of that. And then we'll get the nice squares going. Which is really what we want, isn't it? So... We'll try that and see how it looks. I'm going to take out... That sec... Whoa! Let's try that again. Take out that section there. Yeah, if that works out well, I'll start doing that into other places. Get much more squares going. Like this one here. We may as well just join this up. There's no point not to. The traffic is so limited on this island. Now, can we have that so it actually fills in properly? Would that be better? Well, it would be nice, but we can't. So, we'll just draw that in and hope for the best. Good. And they're upgrading as well. Still above 120,000. Well, that's nice. <laughs> So, it may be, actually, that if as we go through this, there's one thing we don't have is Parisian offices, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's have a quick look at our theme again. Mm, theme manager, Paris. So, we've got flats, we've got, like, row houses. Can you scroll for me? We're already at the bottom. Yeah, flat, 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 flat. I don't know what these are. There's no real way of telling what they are. Oh, uh, they're all residential. Look, residential and then some commercial. Yeah, that's it. So there's no office. So if we're going to have an office section... Cool, man. Got to be careful you don't suddenly turn that on for your whole your whole map. That would be a bit of a disaster. Yeah, if you're going to have a, a an office section, have it separate from everything else. So we could actually have like an office section down the middle. And then all of this sort of these Parisian streets. Oh, they look great. They really do look great. If we can get this sort of square thing going on, I think they'll be a lot better. Hmm. Right, let me carry on. Okay, well, that's everything this side has been changed now. And then what I'm thinking of doing is having the offices sort of running down the middle here. So that should be, yeah, that should be all offices. Yeah, I don't want that to be... Let's do that like this. Nope, right click, remove that, turn that into offices. So it's offices either side of the road, sort of like a barrier. Um, do we have power coming in anywhere else, or is that it? Yeah, we could have power come across here, and then we could remove that one. If we could go straight across the middle there, that actually works out quite well. Is that going to connect? Let's just make sure. Yep, that's good. So then if we remove this one here, or at least have it up to the end, we can just add, yep, some more offices in there. Oh, also save, sip of tea. Mm. Out of tea. Oh, it's an emergency. There we go. Yeah. So that will sort of cover this area here. 
and then hopefully all of this, the shops will start building up, the homes will build up. It's already doing much better. I'm liking that. And I like these little gaps we're going to get in the middle as well. Because I can start filling those with maybe some shops and some different stuff. We'll have to see uh, as it goes along. But yeah, that is, this is exactly what I was hoping it would look like. I'm really pleased. has gone by i've been sort of playing the game a bit off camera and trying to work at getting these things built up there's a few sort of buildings that look a bit strange like these here <laughs> um if they don't have a back to them and they're backing onto the water they just look a bit odd although they're very nice shops i love the way these shops look uh, it's probably a little bit dim let's uh brighten this up so you guys can see there we go we go for that little bit of shadow there there we go that's better um, yeah, so some nice looking shops and I think what's going to work better is we have some of these sort of shops dotted amongst other things But you can't really just have a back open like that So I've sort of been going through and making more squares as you can see with the shapes that we've got and trying to get things to sort of match up Right it's like this here. You're gonna have that weird sort of end. Well, that doesn't look too bad But I might sort of close that up and I've done that in a few places. But, um, oh, I've also taken a house out of the, this one down here. Look, was that a shop? No, that's one of the, the thinner houses. So if it doesn't match up, I'll sort of take it out, like that one there. And then hope it comes back with the one that matches. I know I can use mods to individually place buildings and that sort of thing. But, I, you know, I'm not really sort of getting into that in this series. I want, I want things to grow in as they should but anyway it's getting there it's looking good so i'm working my way along and uh, i'm taking things out from over here and then they start building up more over there and it's working okay it's working okay if you have a quick look yeah all the housing is pretty much filled up it's just the shops and stuff but anyway something a bit different i want to add into here i've just been reading through the comments on the hyperloop episode a couple of episodes back and there was a suggestion about adding in, which I think is a great idea, over here, a blimp stop and adding that to our blimp route. Now, uh, let's come out of that view and go down here. Nope, nope, wrong button. Bloop, there we go, that's what I'm trying to do. So I reckon you would walk out of this place and having blimps landing right next to you would be, um, would be quite good. You can get to it easily, maybe something there. I mean, it is going to cross the flight path for our, <laughs> our airport, but... You know, you know, whatever. Or we could put it over here. We could put it over here in this space and then build around that. Um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe here would be good. So let's delete these. Uh, let's grab our blimp. Oh, all the people coming out of the shop. Let's grab our blimp stop. That's this one here, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's just too big. Darn it. I thought that was going to be... Sorry, shops. Okay, they're, they're coming back in again. It's bigger than I thought. So maybe we've got the taxi stands. We put it along the back here and sort of have it um, go along there. I mean, we could fit it in here, but I don't want blimps particularly. Or it might just be the other side of the road. So they walk across the park and come up here. Do you know what? I think that's what we're going to do. Let's grab, let's grab this road. Uh, what is that going through there? Medical clinic. Let's move the medical clinic down to there. Let's drag... What are you, go what are you going through now? It's oh, okay. Yeah, let's move that as well. Let's put that there. I want to see if I can drag... Come here. Road. Road. Drag that and sort of connect it over here. It's just sort of another through road. Can we turn off toggle road bending? Yeah, there we go. So we've got that. It's not going to do it because it just goes to a bridge. What about that one? 
Or we could just have this one come out and then go across. Just trying to make an interesting shape is all I'm trying to do. And then we can sort of fit it in here. If we have that come down a little bit further. Yeah, and then will it go into there? Yes, it will. That'll be good. So we've got like the blimp stop sort of over by the water. Yeah, I think that's good. And then as the game moves on, I mean, I'm going to add this to our blimp route, perhaps. Where is our blimp route? I'm talking about that. and I'm not quite sure where it is. So what have we got? What have we got? Um, this is a blimp route round here. So it goes all the way round from our main transport district and sort of covers... Where does it go? It goes there, it goes into town. Yeah, it sort of goes around there. I think we'll actually add a second blimp route that comes across the water. And then as we expand this area, it can cover these. I don't think... Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it goes over there as well. And sort of loops around and goes back. Oh, what we could do is bring this loop. Yeah, instead of having it looping around and going back and then down here, we'll bring that up to here. Yep, up to there, and then that can loop back round. That could be interesting. Let's try that. So let's pause the game a sec. Let us delete that there. Uh, so let's take off the deleting thing. So if we bring that sort of along over the houses, down the river, like this, uh, up to there, and then sort of curve it around onto there. Oh, I like that. So they get a view of the new Paris Island that we've been making. And then this one here can come maybe over here. So you go via the Arc de Triumph. Yep. And then where's that going to go to? Where does that blimp line go? So we basically want to delete this. There we go. Let's get rid of all of that one, that loop. There we go. So it comes up there. Where does it go to? Let's follow this back. I know it's hard to see, but follow my cursor. That's where it is. The purple line comes into there. goes round here. Hits that one. So this is where we're going to be hooking it into. Because we've sort of got up to there. In fact, I'm going to hook that into Spring District, is where our main hub is. Yeah, we're going to hook that into there, I think. And then we're going to have to sort of fiddle around a bit with our loops. Yeah, let's try that. Let's bring that uh, closer over here. So if we sort of curve this around a bit. Maybe there. Where are we trying to get to? Where are we trying to get to? Get to there. Okay, and you can go sort of over the over here and then that can hook into there okay good so we might have to change some of our blimp routes now so this blue route that we've got here i think that is one of the ones let's have a look yeah that will be blimp line one so we turn off the other ones and in fact we're going to turn off every other route just so we can easily see what the heck is going on there we go so that blue route goes up there Yep, up there, up there, up there. Goes up to here. What I want it to do now is I want that to become the route that goes around. So we are going to uh, drag a line to add a stop there. There it is. Let's just check that's gone okay. Yep. So it goes in and out of there. And then we're going to do the same here. We're going to drag this one to come in all the way up to here. Yep. And then we're going to do the same here. So the one that's going in. Let's go all the way back round. All the way down here. Back to where we started. And I'm hoping that's going to work right. See, it's still coming back down here. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do that again. And I'm going to do it off camera. And I want it to go around in a big loop. And here we go. The last one. So I've done a clockwise loop. And we've done a counterclockwise loop. Oh. Where is it? There it is. Just there. So, complete line. Excellent. So, let's have a look at our blimp lines. Paris Island clockwise. And this one is going to be Paris Island counterclockwise. There we go. Just change the colour of that. So, it's something a bit different. Excellent. So, there's one going each way. You're complaining about lack of water. Allow me to alleviate your fears. 
We will be providing you with water. Good. So that will now go both ways round. Bom, 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 bom. And lots of people love to use the blimp. So we're probably going to find that these blimps... Let's have a look. They're going to be coming from the depot, which is somewhere. I don't know. I can't remember where the blimp depot is. It's got to be over here, isn't it? I'm just going to follow some of the blimps. <laughs> and I can't... Oh, is this one? Yeah, this will be one. We turn into depot. No, okay. That's on the line we've just destroyed. Anyway, the blimps will be heading over there. Oh, look. I bet this is... That's a boat. <laughs> I thought that was a blimp. I don't know where they are, but that's that anyway. So, we'll get the blimps coming over here. People love the blimps. So, we need to sort of build up this area a bit more. Something else I'd like to do is run a path over here. Um... We've got this power cable that runs down the middle here. But we do have power that comes around the outside. So I'm going to remove this. There we go. That shouldn't affect anything. Everybody happy? Everybody golden? Everybody good? Good. And then what I want to do is run a path over here. So they can drive, they can take the train, or they can walk. And I thought that would be nice to have that extra option. It's going to have to be a pavement path. Uh, let's turn that off. And somehow we're going to have to start here and go across. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do it. And I'd like it in the middle, if possible. So, I mean, if that was... Let's turn off all of those things. If that started here and just went straight up the middle and page down to over there to sort of connect up. Oh, game's auto-saving. Quick sip of tea. Hmm. Last sip of tea. So we sort of went right to the edge of that. How straight is that? Yeah, it feels like it needs to be up over here somewhere. I wanted to keep this straight going across here. It was straight-ish. There we go. That's going to connect. Yeah, that's fine. Does that look okay? Yeah, that looks okay. And then we've got to try and get it to connect over here. So we go page down. We should be okay. We go like that. Oh, yeah, okay. And we'll do the same the other side. There we go, so they can get up and down there. And we can put some crossings on the road here, can't we, as well? We'll have one there. And one there. There we go. Yep, excellent. People can cross over if they wish. Take the bridge over. Enjoy the view. The walk across. Excellent. Watch the cars going past. Watch the train coming past. And then they can uh, walk up here. Turn left. Yeah. And then they come over to the blimps. And they can say, yeah. Oh, look. People are walking over to the blimps already. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. They are queuing for the blimps. Look. Oh, my giddy aunt. Look at how many are walking to come over for the blimps. People love blimps. They really do. They're coming from here. Where are they coming? They're all coming out of the uh, airport. Yep. And they're walking over to take the blimps. We are going to need more blimps. Shame we can't see how many people are waiting there. Oh, we can, can't we? If we go... Uh, blimp stop. No. If we go to... What am I thinking of? This one. And go to that one. And look at the lines. So we've got 259 people at this stop. Yep, that's this one. Oh my goodness. And the counterclockwise one, well, that's the same line. How many blimps have we got on each? Six and six. And here comes the first blimp to pick up the first load of people from our new blimp line. They are queuing up. Now, unfortunately, the blimps only hold like 30 people each or something, don't they? 35 people each. Let's speed this up and take the tour around the city. So, oh, he's going quite low there, isn't he? So he's the one going counterclockwise. So we're going to end up up over here. Very good. I also need to put in um, a taxi depot. Because at the moment, the nearest taxi depot I've got is a long way away. Oh, this is really cool. I'm liking this. Get the really good view of the city. Why are we just flying over here? Let's up that to 300%. There we go. 
turn that off and then let's also maybe make it a little bit of more night time get some cool lighting going on over here there we go look at that suddenly suddenly night time well there we go that one is working fine i just want to add over here before i forget a taxi depot uh over here we've got all these taxi but the uh taxi things here it's actually stands but the taxis happen to come from so far away that's a bit unfair so i'm going to put in before i forget a taxi depot and that could actually squeeze into this area here do we think yeah alongside there there we go and then we build up this area a bit more that will work well wow there's so many people here oh my goodness let's just check again it's been a few minutes let's see how many uh, no, I want this one up here. I want that one there. Uh, one of these lines. 581 people. Wow. Well, you know what we can do? Uh, lines overview. Let's close that. We can. I think we can double. I mean, if we double this to 12, there's still going to be a ton of people there. And it just seems like so many blimps, doesn't it? 12 going each way. That's 24 blimps. Uh, let's shut that one. Well, let's do it anyway. We're certainly going to have loads of blimps over the city. I may put that down again. Uh, let's get that to 100%. Can I do it? No, 199%. 201. I'm, be I'm better with 199%. Wow, there's going to be so many blimps appearing over the city. And they're all going to be coming from the blimp depot. Let me find it. Where is it? Oh, it's down here somewhere. But anywho, there we go. <laughs> so normally I don't have that many blimps on a line just because it might start looking a bit silly. But I guess we shall see. So, let me ask you. Have you checked out Surviving Mars yet? Yes or no? If not, go and check it out on my channel. Let's have a last look at Parish Island. Paris Island over here. Yeah, I'll change that. Don't worry. It's looking nice. It's looking nice. Don't forget to hit the big B with a tea stain to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode, which will be here tomorrow. Surviving Island. Surviving Island? What the heck's that? Surviving Mars is going to be 5 p.m. each day, and my later in the day videos will be 8 p.m. GMT. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.